the 12-time Olympic medalist, now taking responsibility for what he says was immature behavior in Rio nearly a week after he and his three teammates claimed that they were robbed at gunpoint. We asked Lochte about that and what happened when he was confronted by security guards. What was your tone? The police said in their press conference that you were angry, that you were belligerent, and perhaps that the security guard was worried you might get aggressive. Is that fair, a fair characterization? Not me getting aggressive. I mean, that's not really my, that's not me, is getting uh, mad and angry and like wanting to fight or anything like that. Um, but I was, I was upset that we got pulled out of the taxi for, I thought something that nothing, like, there's no reason for a gun to be pulled out for us for doing nothing. A gunner in his statement to police did say that you got into a heated argument and discussion with that security guard. I was, I was upset. There was no reason for us to be sitting down with a gun pointed to us for nothing that we did. But in, at any time during that exchange, Ryan, when you were that upset and terrified, as you just said, did you, do you think you posed a threat to that security guard that would have made him believe he needed to continue to have that gun out of its holster. I think when I got up and I started, you know, being like, this is using some words, this is BS, like we shouldn't be like treated like this, like there's no way like this, we want to get back in the car, we want to go back, like that's, that's why I got it heated and you know, the, the guy could probably drawled his gun from that. And then once he did, you can definitely see me go like this. And that's when we sat down. I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is the first version of the story you told Ryan was much more about the mean streets of Rio. Yeah. And the version and we're hearing now is much more about a negotiated settlement mm -hmm. to cover up some dumb behavior. And. That's why I'm taking full responsibility for it, is because I over-exaggerated that story. And if I'd never did, done that, we wouldn't be in this mess. What about the people of Rio? You know, they dealt with all the headlines going into the games and about pollution and violence and crime. And, and here comes this story with one of the highest profile U.S. athletes saying, I got held up at gunpoint on the streets of Rio. What would you say to them now? How sorry I am. Um, and my deepest apologies. Um, they put on a great games. Um, they did everything. The people um, of Rio or Brazil, the authorities, everyone there, they put on a great games. And my immature, intoxicated behavior um, Tarnish that a little. When you saw the news coverage of Gunner and Jack being taken off that plane at the airport, and you knew, and you've just said to me, they didn't damage anything yeah. in that gas station. And, it, and you're sitting at home in the United States, safe and sound. How did it make you feel? Hurt. I mean, I, I let my team down. And, you know, I wanted to be there, like, I don't want them to think that I left um, and left them dry because, I mean, they were my teammates. I wanted to definitely be there. And I wanted to help out any way I could. And so I just wanted to make sure that they were home safe before I came out and talked. And, you know, I'm just really sorry about, I'm embarrassed um, for myself, my family especially those guys, USA Swimming, the whole Olympic Games, um, everyone watching. Uh, it's just, I was immature and I made a stupid mistake. I'm human. I made a mistake and I definitely learned from this. So we mentioned a little bit before the IOC is still investigating this. The chief executive of the USOC, Scott Blackman, said we are going to have further action on this not exactly sure what he means by that you can never look inside someone's heart but he no. sure does seem like he gets it now and Certainly is does. really sorry there's yep. no question about that yeah.
Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.